Hi guys, it's Shriya here and welcome or welcome back to my channel Beauty and the Coat. आज के वीडियो में मैं आपके साथ परफ्यूम एंटीज शेयर कर रही हूँ। I have a lot of perfumes with me. This includes both the categories body mist as well as perfumes. So let's begin. Before we do so, make sure कि आपने मेरे चैनल पे सब्सक्राइब कर लिया है, you hit the bell notification and you follow me on Instagram. And now let's get started. Now, in case you don't know what product empties videos are all about, I basically run through my products, I finish them completely, and then I share my review whether I will be repurchasing these products or not, and whether this is worth my money or not, whether I will purchase or buy the product, or I will say bye bye to the product. So that's like the whole concept of product empties. If you are new to the channel, just wanted to give you a brief. And now, let's begin with the perfume empties. So. The first product that I have is Dark Kiss from Bath & Body Works. Now this is a very old packaging and the new packaging is slightly has some blue accents to it. This one is a very very gorgeous berry deep berry fragrance. This is one of the most uh, sexy long lasting fragrances that I have from Bath & Body Works. I really did not want to go through this bottle but then it was near expiry and I was like I don't want to waste a bit of it. So I literally used it till the last drop thoroughly enjoyed this one it has sweetness it has berries in it overall it's a very deep dark sexy vampy kind of a fragrance and absolutely love this one because the performance is amazing this is one of the most long-lasting uh, fragrance mists from bath and body works so i definitely recommend this one and i do want to actually get a backup for this the second one is a very gorgeous kind of like a fruity floral and this is called as Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. Now I had no idea that Banana Flower has such a gorgeous fragrance. Like I underestimated the power of this fragrance mist. I was like, I ordered it online just by seeing the notes and I was like, yeah, this may not be that great. But when I started using this and I started getting compliments from people, that's when I realized, okay, I'm so wrong. This is a very gorgeous kind of like a very tropical, very uplifted, very bright kind of a fragrance. Super unique. It is sweet. It is fruity. It's kind of sexy. I think this is perfect for lunch dates and, you know, a slightly lighter romantic casual dates kind of a situation i think this is really really good again the performance is amazing on this one and i wouldn't mind repurchasing it now i'm left with perfumes so let's begin uh, so this one is from bulgari omnia coral and this is basically an audit parfum but i got it from a duke house and this is from arabian perfumes i got it from nagpur actually uh, so this is how the bottle is i actually enjoyed this one a lot this is a, such a kind of like a very bright and a clean girl fragrance. Like this feels like I'm just fresh out of my bath. I'm very clean, I'm very fresh and this definitely has like a fresh body wash kind of a vibe to it. I thoroughly enjoyed this one but this is not something that I crave for. Uh, so this scent profile is not something which is like very sweet and very gourmand kind of a fragrance which I uh, go for usually. So this is like a one time touch and go for me. I liked it, I enjoyed it but I'm not going to repurchase it. Next perfume is from Fog Pure Lady and this is Blooming Jasmine. I got a lot of uh, compliments on this perfume like I was very uh, astonished ki you know itne kam rate ka fragrance is getting me like this is very inexpensive I got a lot of compliments from this one so I thoroughly enjoyed using this one at this point of time I just have a lot of tube rose fragrances that I need to go through before I go for a repurchase so at the time being I'm not going to repurchase this one but in the long run, if I feel the need of adding a tube rose fragrance back into my collection, I will definitely consider this. Another fragrance from Fog is this one. This is called as Blooming Lilies. I love the packaging of this one. It has a very neon green feel to it. Love how they have, you know, curated different colors for each of the perfumes and all are see-through. 
love this packaging very delicate has a bow to it and everything like it's very cute coming to the fragrance i never had an experience of smelling individual lily fragrance so this was something which was very unique for me a very delicate floral note which i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed on you know very uh, hot days in hyderabad i think this really worked well during summers during daytime uh, rest of the seasons i was not able to enjoy it that much but during summers i did enjoy this one and i got a full use of this i think for the price this is super unique i may consider repurchasing this one next one is a nika perfume and this one is called as stolen glance now stolen glance is a very gorgeous kind of like a white floral fragrance with some green hints to it i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this fragrance to a point that i already have a backup of this one so definitely it's a repurchase for me i enjoyed it it works really well it lasts for around 4 to 5 hours on me it's not that long lasting and not that projective as well uh, so the performance is kind of mediocre but i just like the scent profile so only for the scent profile i actually bought it again but the performance is not that great i'm not very happy with the performance but uh, just for the uniqueness of the scent profile i repurchased this one then i finished dream perfume from secret temptation now secret temptation is another very affordable brand and i enjoy most of their fragrances dream was kind of like a fruity fresh fragrance more like a fresh fragrance hints of with hints of fruitiness to it and i am not someone who thoroughly enjoys a freshies like even if i do i need a lot of zestiness a lot of lemon bergamot in my freshies for me to enjoy or i need some level of complexity in that perfume for me to enjoy so i'm not a freshy category clean girl fragrance is kind of a girl uh, so this one i'm not going to repurchase it i enjoyed it i used it i finished it uh, but not looking forward to repurchasing it next one is from yardley and from yardley london this one is called as royal diamond now this one was a very delicate kind of like a rosy musky white floral fragrance this was a kind of fragrance which is very soft in nature it used to sit very close to my skin only somebody who's like sitting right next to me or is talking in the close proximity would get a sniff of it so the only fact that this was not a uh, kind of projective this was a very delicate and soft fragrance i did not enjoy it for that reason but the scent profile was amazing delicate feminine very very mature and womanly kind of a fragrance and it was best for office wear but only the performance disappointed me that's the only reason that i'm not going to repurchase this one next perfume is miss diva fashionista from all good scents now all good scents have some good perfumes out there in the market for me this is not their best fragrance this has a kind of like a again a fruity floral vibe going on to it with some nuttiness and somehow at some point it started kind of uh, you know getting a little cough syrupy vibe to me like every time i put it on my skin uh, it kind of changed uh, the you know it mixed with my skin chemistry and uh, it kind of changed like the fragrance changed uh, after some time and then it did not smell that great on me so i enjoyed it initially after maceration i did not enjoy it that much uh, so i'm not going to repurchase this one next two fragrances are from rene this is dark desire and bloom now bloom is said to be a carolina herrera good girls dupe and i do agree to some extent it is but it is a thoroughly watered down version of carolina herrera like if you really want to know the scent profile of carolina herrera good girl then it's a good investment otherwise i just feel that the Uh, you know carolina herrera good girl the way it is so dark deep and intense i don't think the rene fragrance was even close to it only the scent profile was similar but i did not like really really enjoy it and that was the reason like i was not going gaga about it on my channel there are so many youtubers ha who have been making this fragrance a very hyped up uh, fragrance saying that it is a perfect dupe of carolina herrera and i just have my own uh thoughts around it like i do feel it is but then the performance is not there so then it just does not make sense to me to have a dupe like that both of these i'm not going to repurchase next perfume that i have is from platinum perfume and this is leap 
Now this is almost an 95% dupe of the original YSL Leap. Absolutely enjoyed this one, loved it. Good projection, good long lasting fragrance and the quality overall was good. It did not smell synthetic. You may consider going for a bigger bottle of this. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Next fragrance is Black OPM again from Platinum Perfume. Platinum Perfume makes amazing, amazing dupes. Like if you are even looking for a Carolina Herrera, you can go and contact them. They make better dupes than going for Rene for sure. Uh, again, this one also I enjoyed thoroughly. A very beautiful kind of like a coffee note fragrance. Sweet, coffee-like, more like a cappuccino situation going on. And this actually performs better than the original Black OPM. So YSL Black OPM ka ye I think better dupe hai and uh, definitely will repurchase this. Then I got this from a local store in Hyderabad in Sarat City Mall and this is a Swiss Perfumes and Attar and the one that I got is Fantasy. This was a very beautiful, deep, dark, sweet chocolate kind of a fragrance it literally felt like dairy milk in a bottle and uh, you know this combined with uh, al rehab's choco musk was just a beautiful gourmand dream come true uh, so i enjoyed this one and very inexpensive this was like for 100 or 200 not more than that so i thoroughly enjoyed this one definitely a repurchase for me so that completes my marathon of perfume empties. I hope that this video was helpful and the mini reviews were useful for you to decide whether you want to purchase a perfume or not. Having said that, that concludes today's video. Please support my channel, subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me on Instagram and I'm going to see you very very soon in my next video. Bye!